Fire Teams Witnessing to Muslims, Slide 1. Pray a blessing over the individual or group, their business, and families. Ask them for specific prayer needs. Slide 2. Do you follow the teachings of the Quran? Yes or no? <clears throat> Did you know that the Quran says to obey the Torah in Shira 22? Yes or no? Do you know that the Quran says to accept the message of the Nabi in Shira 22? Yes or no? Did you know that the Quran says to read, understand, and obey the Injil in Shira 23? Yes or no? Could I tell you about the angel in my life, yes or no, your testimony? Do you believe Jesus could forgive you your sins, yes or no? Would you like to ask Jesus to give you peace, yes or no? Acceptance prayer, invite them to a full gospel businessmen seminar and chapter meeting. Slide three. Why is there not a single prophecy concerning Mohammed in the Bible or Quran? Whereas Jesus Christ is found time and time again, and what the Quran says about Jesus places him way above the founder of Islam. Islam recognizes Jesus to be far more perfect and sinless than any human being could be. The Quran states, I bestow on thee a faultless son. Christ was without sin, pure and above reproach. It is to be noted that Jesus is mentioned 97 times, yes, 97 times, in 93 verses of the Quran. He is called the Spirit of God seven times, whereas Muhammad is mentioned a bare 25 times in the Quran. My third question for the reader is, why should the alleged lesser be identified over the writer of the Quran? It may be useful as, at a stage to make a factual comparison between my Lord Jesus and Muhammad. This would serve to bring into focus. Is Jesus God? Was he deity? What kind of man was Muhammad? Let's look at a comparison of Jesus to Muhammad. Jesus, born of the Virgin Mary, 4 BC. Muhammad, one, born of Amidah, 570 AD. Two, Jesus, no earthly father, Two, Muhammad, earthly father, Ab Allah. Jesus, number three, never married. Muhammad, number three, married to 15 wives. Jesus, number four, lived a sinless life. Muhammad, four, was sinful. Jesus never prayed for forgiveness. Five, Muhammad prayed often for forgiveness of his sins. Six, Jesus waged no war. Six, Muhammad waged 66 battles. Jesus, number seven, ordered death of no one. Muhammad, number seven, ordered death of many. Number eight, Jesus established mercy and love. Muhammad, number eight, no mercy and the sword. Number nine, Jesus established spiritual kingdom. Muhammad, number nine, established earthly empire. Number 10, Jesus died by crucifixion at 33 years old. Muhammad died of pneumonia and poisoning at age 62. 
Number 11, Jesus arose from the grave alive. Muhammad, still in the grave, dead. Number 12, Jesus in the Old Testament predicted his first and second coming. Muhammad, 12, no such prediction. Number 13, Jesus' theme was love. Muhammad's number 13, he was dedicated to war. Jesus, number 14, mentioned in Quran 97 times. Muhammad, number 14, mentioned in Quran 25 times. Slide 5, Testimony. We had teams alternating between Jordan and Iraq during Ramadan. Our mission was to minister the gospel to Iraqis in Iraq and Jordan. I was standing at the top of Mount Nebo overlooking the Promised Land. A Muslim was witnessing to me about Muhammad and Allah. I respectfully listened to his textbook apologetics. I could counter each statement but waited for him to finish. As I was about to speak, the Lord said, I am not a God of debate. Thus, I shared the gospel with this gentleman. Second, on the streets of Baghdad, many Muslims thanked us for being there. We could see our soldiers. Several Muslims would ask us, who was Jesus? They had had a divine visitation from Jesus, who appeared as a bright light. Jesus was preparing their hearts.